It's a new week in the Crew Motor Fest, and we have a new summit. This one is called the Stereo Online Experience, and this is my summit guide. Let's go! All right, before we get into it, huge shout out to Simji. I appreciate all of the help that he had on this one, especially when it comes to NOS management. He is definitely the king of that. Please go sub to his channel. The link is in the description down below. All right, let's get into it. So the cars that you're going to be needing for this summit are the Summit Bundle with the Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 racing car and the Mazda MX-5 racing car as well. This one actually comes with the Acura NSX GT3 racing car. So you're not going to be using that in this summit. You can just discard that. Additional vehicles that you're going to need are a racing Grand Tourer. For this one, I'm using the CCGT. And then you're going to need a Japanese racing car. I highly recommend the 370Z for this one. And then you're going to need a sports racing car. And for that one, I'm using the KTM Expo GT2. And then finally, you're going to need a slalom vehicle. We have three slaloms this week. I use the same car for all of them, the RB14 Disruption Edition, but just use whichever car you actually have score breaker for your parts with these skilled and pure affixes. All right, the keys to this summit are NOS management and car control. Some of these events are in the rain, so you're going to need to control your car, and your NOS management is going to be way, way more important than you think. All right, here are the pro settings for all of the cars I just mentioned. All right, let's get into the events. So for all of these events, there are no shortcuts. All of these events take place on a closed track, and so your lines are gonna be very important, which means I'm gonna show you a full lap. However, I did receive some feedback from you guys on one of my previous videos that you would actually like to hear some commentary over that lap. So I will be doing that for this summit. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this format, if you like this better, or if you'd rather just watch the lap by yourself. All right, this first event is called Pono Circuit, and for this one, I'm using the CCGT. So let's get started with lap number two. So for this right-hander in this first part of the lap, it's important to hit this gutter. Allows you to take this corner with a lot more speed. I kind of messed it up. For this corner, you want to stay as tight as possible. You can go a little bit wide, but make sure your NOS management is important. You need to get to a high gear quickly. That helps you get your top speed up. This turn should be taken at about 200 miles per hour. And then the following right-hander is in fifth gear, followed by a downshift, and stay tight on these corners. The wider you go, the more distance you have to travel. And then again, when you get to the straight, get to those big gears quickly. All right, the next event is called Stereo Autodrome, and this one I'm using the MX-5. It's a required vehicle for the course, and it's probably my least favorite vehicle to use in this entire summit, but it's fine. It just happens to be in the rain, which makes it a little bit slippy. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at my third lap. All right, so this first corner, you can take near full speed, but you're going to have to slow down just a little bit. And again, stay inside if you can. If you have to downshift to fifth coming out, it's okay. Get to sixth again quickly and then use your NOS. You definitely don't want to use all of it. Now, that turn on the right there, you can go through the barriers, but you're going to have to slow down quickly for this turn. This one and the next turn both need to be taken in third gear and they need to be taken on the inside. So if you can get close to the wall, that's better. After you're done with that, you're going to want to get to fifth gear as soon as possible and possibly sixth if you can. Again, try to stay inside on this left hander and then prepare to downshift on the right. Avoid these poles. They are very detrimental to your speed. Control yourself going through here and fourth. And then when you get to the final left-hander, make sure you downshift to third. Again, try to stay inside if possible. 
end wide and then get to these top gears as fast as possible and then use your nos you want to get to top speed on that straight especially on the first couple of laps all right the next event is called keep it realistic and this one you need to have different parts for your car it's extremely important to have iron grip set up on all of your parts if you don't your third lap will be very painful or you'll have to use a pit stop and if you use a pit stop your time is going to be absolutely terrible so please put iron grip plus pure on all of your parts hopefully you have a nitro chemist set of parts if you don't it's really important to have at least iron grip it just allows you to take all three of these laps without having to do a pit stop and that's the strategy that you're going to want to implore so Let's get into my second lap on this particular race. NOS management is huge for this course. This first left-hander, you wanna make sure you have enough blue NOS to accelerate out of it and up the hill. You're gonna lose a lot of time if you don't have it, but notice I'm just using it in spurts. You wanna use it in your sixth gear to get as high of speed as possible going up the hill, but you don't wanna use all of it because you have another hard left-hander at the top of this straight and you're gonna be going uphill again. So you wanna have plenty of blue NOS. Try to keep it in the top half of your NOS meter. This little right-hander to a left is very important and you're gonna to need to downshift going into this turn. If you can hit this gutter, I definitely recommend it. You can actually take it quite a bit faster than I did there, but I slowed down a little bit too much coming out of that turn. After this left-hander, you're gonna to wanna to get to sixth and seventh gear as soon as possible because that's when your NOS is gonna be the most effective. All right, the next event is called Hawaii Speed Tour City. And for this one, we're using the 370Z again. This one is kind of interesting. I actually changed my difficulty to level five to make sure the AI wasn't in my way a lot on this first couple of turns. They tend to clog up around that first little left-hander S-Ben and then the hard right-hander at the end they definitely are breaking too hard and they're going to be in your way. So put them on level five, see if that works out for you. And if you have to just change your difficulty and they'll end up in different places. All right, let's take a look at my first full lap here. You're going to want to save your NOS as much as possible. You want to get into the blue before you start using it. So I usually hold off until that first corner. Now notice I slowed down a little bit there and I use this first place guy to turn on this corner. He makes the turn much easier for me and actually on my ensuing laps I took it a little too fast and hit the wall because he wasn't there. Now for this straight you definitely want to use your NOS to get into seventh gear and go as fast as you can but don't use it to where you're losing your NOS in the red. This S bend is tricky and I do tap the wall here not the biggest deal didn't lose a lot of speed. This one you can take at pretty much full speed you have to slow down just a tiny bit. This one you're gonna have to break for. I took it in fifth. I think you could probably take it in sixth as well. And then for the final right and left, I take this in fourth gear. Other cars, it's in third, this one fourth. Then try to get to sixth gear and seventh gear as fast as possible for this long straight and you're home free. Just repeat this two times and you're good to go. All right, the next event is called Racing Simulator Tour. Again, you're gonna want iron grip and pure on your affixes for every other race you don't need iron grip, but for these two, you definitely do, so you can avoid that pit stop. It's gonna help your time a lot. All right, let's get into my first full lap and we'll give you some commentary on this. Here we go. All right, again, it's important to save your NOS. You do not wanna use it until you get into the blue. I actually think I might tap it here at the beginning of this race on accident, but you definitely need to get yourself into the blue before you start using it. Notice I tap it there a little. That's not recommended. This turn is kind of tricky. You definitely need to slow down a lot. But this next right-hander, if you can hit this gutter, it's definitely important to do so. It allows you to take it a lot faster and you can accelerate out a lot better. Now on the straight, your goal is to get to top speed. So try tapping the NOS until you get to sixth and then you can blast it into the 250 mile per hour range. This first S-Bend is a little bit slow. You're gonna need to take that a little slower, followed by a slow right-hander. But then from here until up and over the hill, you can blast it. You can go all the way up to top speed here. Just get into sixth, start using NOS early. You can actually use it a little bit earlier than I did and get yourself into top speed going up and over the hill. For this right-hander, you're definitely gonna wanna use the gutter. It's definitely recommended for basically any of these tracks 
where you have to hit that super hard right hand turn. But outside of that, you're home free. All right, the last event is called Close Track Closer. And for this one, you're using the GTR Nismo. And once again, let's take a look at the first lap that I do. All right, this one is a little bit tricky at the start because I actually had to change this difficulty back down to one in order to get this start. And it's really not optimal, but I did use both of those guys to turn and thus making it slightly faster. For this right-hander, it's kind of slow, but a fourth gear will do. These guys take off on me and it's kind of nice because I can use them for slipstream and we just end up passing them on this part anyway. It's wide open and straight. This is where you want to blast your NOS. You want to get to top speed before you hit the top of that hill. Then slow down this right-hander again. Try to use the gutter. I ended up missing it on this lap. But if you can use the gutter there, it's best. Now NOS management is huge for this race. I was taking a look at Simji's run for this race and his NOS management was much different than mine. And so I recommend his usage because he's getting a much faster time. The NOS usage you want is going to be, you need to get into your top gears faster than I am. Use your NOS sparingly in the bottom gears, three, four, and five. Just get it to six. Once you get to six, then you can use a lot of NOS to make sure your speed stays high. It's important to take this gutter on the right hander there. Actually allows you to take it at about 140 miles per hour. And then you can kind of try to shove your car into the gutter there. It doesn't really work though. This one for sure, take the gutter if you can. It's gonna help a lot on corner exit and corner speed. And then once again, you're at another straight. Like I said, try to get to sixth and blast it all the way to top speed. All right, lastly, let's talk about the feats. For these ones, I'll just give you an idea. These are all slalom, so my advice is gonna be exactly the same for all three. You need to use your car that has score breaker parts. If you do not have score breaker parts, you're in a lot of trouble. You're just not gonna get good scores and you're really leaving points on the table. You should be getting around 128,000. If you do have score breaker, I recommend the Alpha GP cars. And for the first slalom, you're gonna go in the opposite direction. For slaloms two and three, you're gonna be going forward. And that's basically it. Make sure you don't miss any of the gates and just finish in a timely manner. You don't even have to go fast. Just don't miss a gate and have score breaker. And these are pretty much automatic. All right, here are my final scores. Keep in mind, guys, you can DM me with any questions. I read every single message that comes my way. Just might take me a day or so to respond. But basically anything on Instagram or Discord, I will read and respond to. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this helps. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.